Mesa Nature Center and Planetarium is a private, nonprofit environmental education organization. At Calusa, they have three nature trails, a planetarium, along with butterflies and bird exhibits. Overall, the things that we did varied from cleaning to help maintaining the exhibits. The exhibit that we took a special interest in was the butterfly exhibit. The purpose of our video is to help educate you on the importance of butterflies. Butterflies play an important role in the ecosystem. Butterflies act as a pollinator and as food source for other species. If certain species of butterflies go extinct, then certain birds and plants that rely on them will also go extinct. The butterfly exhibit at the Calusa Nature Center offers weekly butterfly talks to educate the public on the importance of butterflies. As you'll see in this video, there are many things that need to be done in order to maintain the exhibit. A very important part is spraying the weeds that grow to not take over the environment. In addition to that, we also remove any plant that was dead and planted new plants. If you want the butterfly to live its full life cycle, it's important to check the plants every morning because when the caterpillar is in its cocoon, it can get eaten by tiny spiders. We helped release butterflies that just came out of their cocoon. Our entire project is geared towards sustainability and helping ecosystems thrive. We learned the type of maintenance and care that it takes for this type of ecosystem to thrive and made me have a better appreciation for butterflies. Hi, my name is Emily Kirk. One thing that we used from class and we actually used in the butterfly garden is reusing old items that would normally be thrown away. We used old water jugs and um, used them to plant the plants for the butterflies. <laughs> Nature Center at the Butterfly Exhibit. Today we're learning about what it takes to keep the butterflies alive and help them thrive through a full life cycle. I might get a chance to along the way, uh, but I love working in here and uh, sharing it with the people who come to visit at the Nature Center. So we're glad you're here. Uh, I know you've probably been in fancier butterfly houses. There's a lot that are enclosed and have climate control and they order uh, exotic tropical cr chrysalis to, to let loose and, and there are some very beautiful tropical butterflies. But in here we mainly we collect uh, a, a few adults from outside, bring them in, let them make sure that their host plants are in here, let them lay eggs and uh, let them do their whole life cycle in here. That's good. In this butterfly exhibit, we have all the butterflies in Lee County on this picture. There's a lot of them. <laughs> One of the type of butterflies that's in this sanctuary is the monarch butterfly. The monarch butterfly can flap its wings up to 120 seconds per minute when trying to escape a predator. So the gold fritillary is one of the many types of butterflies in here and a fact about them is that they use pheromones. The males use pheromones in order for mating so they'll release the pheromones to attract the women to, to mate. Butterflies eyes are made up of 6,000 lenses and they can see ultraviolet light. What we have here Here's is weed killer here. spray. You have to spray it on the weeds because if you don't um, it's basically going to take over and the plants aren't going to be able to thrive in their environment. So you just spray them and in about an hour it'll turn brown and then they'll be dead. The next day they'll be dead.